Hi, so today I'm with Jamie, who's 25, Hello. and you're a bit concerned about hair loss. Yeah, a little bit concerned, yeah. So, but I understand it's other people who've been saying to you, oh, you're losing your hair, it's not actually you that's been noticing it? Yeah, a few people have uh, tend to notice it. Um, I have noticed it myself, uh, especially when I go to the barber, when they finish the haircut and they place the mirror at the back. Yeah. I have noticed a bit on my crown that it's starting yeah. to thin out, and I've noticed over the years it has become a little bit worse than you're, what it was. It's also the front as well, you're a bit scared the front, of the Yeah, I'm a little bit scared of the front, with um, obviously, you know, you don't want to start getting the tennis ball effect, yeah. where it starts thinning on the sides and that. Okay. Um, if you just turn around for the camera, because yep. I think it's not too bad. Uh, I don't think it's that bad, but um, you can turn around again. Yeah. So um, I think that the first thing is it doesn't really matter what other people think. I mean, it's your hair, okay. you know, so it's how much it bothers you. Yeah. It doesn't look too bad, but first of all, if, if it doesn't bother you, some, some guys literally just shave their head and, you know, they're not really that concerned about okay. losing their hair. So yeah. maybe you'll, you'd be like that. But the other thing is to um, define exactly whether you're, you are losing your hair or not. So you've got something called the Norwood scale, which is like a scale of um, hair loss. So like a number one would be slightly receding here. Okay. Number two goes back and back and back up to like five or six would be much um, worse. So if you look at photos of yourself from three or four years ago, you can actually compare that to now and then you okay. can say, okay, I can see I've lost this much. Yeah. So that's the first thing. The other thing is think about your, um, mother and your father's side, the men in your family, have they lost their hair or did they keep it till quite old or did okay. they start to lose it when they were 50? Because maybe, you know, you might lose a little bit, um, you know, over the next couple of years, then it's stable for the rest of your life. So it's not something you want to take any decisions about until you know exactly, you know, what's going on. So when it comes to hair loss, you have to understand why, why it's happening. So uh, you know you've got testosterone yeah. in your blood. You're an yeah, athlete, definitely. obviously, you understand definitely, that. Yeah. So testosterone changes, um, and when this change happens, a byproduct is something called DHT. And that, when it gets to your scalp, that attacks the hair follicles. Okay. And it attacks and attacks until they get, the hair gets thinner and thinner and thinner. It shrinks, and then the follicle stops making hair altogether. So um, there's only two proven ways which stop hair loss. So you can see all these caffeine, shampoo, yeah. adverts on TV, but they're not actually proven. Yeah, There's only yeah. two things that can stop hair loss. So the first thing, you've probably heard of minoxidil. Never heard of that before. Minoxidil is, um, it's basically a gel or a liquid. So um, you, you might have heard of Rogaine or something like that. I've heard of Rogaine, yeah. Yeah, so this, this yeah. is a, a generic brand which is called Kirkland. You can buy this online, it's quite cheap. So I've used this myself and it has no side effects. So okay. minoxidil, it's not understood how it works, but it does regrow the hair. It might be a little bit finer than how it used to be, but it does work. So you'd apply this morning and evening, um, and if you stop using this, the hair will fall out again. So okay. as soon as you stop it, you, you so get So would you say that would be a continuous process? Or? Yeah, yeah, you can't stop. You literally have to keep using have this. Keep using um, that. So it's minoxidil 5%, yeah. and if you don't want to pay for the big brand one, if you go online, um, you can get this cheaper. Like You can order this from the US and it's much, much cheaper. Okay. So um, that's the first thing. And there's no real side effects. When I use this, I, I found when you do apply it, um, the, it kind of makes your scalp look a bit greasy. If your hair's already thinning, and then you put some kind of liquid on top of it, it makes your scalp look greasy and maybe looks, makes the hair loss look a bit worse. But have this and try this, and maybe Thank we can you. catch up in a few Thank months you. and see whether it's done anything. Yeah. The second um, proven way um, for hair loss is finasteride. Finasteride is a pill that you take orally. You have to take one milligram every day. Um, and there's two, um, you can buy it generically, but you can get one tablet which is called um, Proscar, which is five milligrams. So if you want to save money, you buy the five milligram tablet, you use a pill cutter, which is just like a blade, you okay. cut it into four bits, and you take that quarter of a pill every day, and then you save money. If you want to take Propecia, which is the one milligram of finasteride, you can do that as well, and it has the same effect, but obviously okay. you use them up quicker. So with finasteride, it um, stops the DHT from being um, produced in your system. So it doesn't attack the hair, and you regrow the hair or you know, it will stop it from falling out. This only works if your hair loss is quite recent. So if you're 50 years old and you lost your hair at 20, probably not gonna work. Same with yeah. minoxidil, but it's worth, worth trying. The only thing is there are more side effects with finasteride. So I've taken this myself and one of the effects is it does affect your sex drive because it's affecting your hormones. So it can make you not wanna have sex 
Um, so it's kind of a balance. How important is your hair? Do you want to kind of not have sex or have hair? It's kind of a bit. It's a bit of a <laughs> kind of both. <laughs> well, yeah, in an ideal world, you can, yeah. and it doesn't affect everyone in the same yeah. way. So may, for you, maybe it uh, will not have that effect. But okay. with finasteride, it's going to take about eight months before you see the results. Even with a minoxidil, it's not instant. It's going to be. You need to consider the um, life cycle of the hair. So it's going to be a few months before this this shows. So they're the two pr proven ways, which are scientifically tested. Apart from this, um, you know, you've got things like a hair transplant, which at 25, you don't want yeah, really to go down that, that, yeah, that's that something quickly, when, you're, yeah. when you're sure that you're definitely yeah. losing your hair. Um, you've got um, hair replacement systems where they use like real human hair. They kind of uh, make it into this um, thing that sticks on your head. Um, and in the future, you've even got, um, they found out that a drug which treats, treats um, osteosporosis a side effect of that is to stop your hair falling out. So that's coming in the future. Okay. It's not even been tested yet, but in the future there may be you know, some great um, things like that. But for now, they're the two things, minoxidil and finasteride. So anyway, um, have a go, let us know how it works. Yeah, like I said, that was, that, was the main, that was the main thing for me, because yeah. um, obviously my dad did go bald in his early 30s. Oh, I see, yeah. um, that was the main reason why I wanted to nip it in the bud before, you yeah. know, um, it, did, it did spiral out of control or okay. anything like that. Um, but you know, I definitely try these products. Definitely give it a go, see how it goes. You know, it can't harm anything. So yeah, okay. yeah. and we'll catch up in a few. Yeah, we'll catch up for that. Okay, thanks for watching, and don't forget you can subscribe and have a good day. Thank you.